What is up guys, Paradox here, welcome back to a brand new video everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you all how we can get custom themes for our Discord clients. Now as of recording this video, you guys may already know that Discord had recently came out with some beta themes. However, these themes are really just gradients or single colors, and they're not really all that eye appealing. And on top of that, you have to be a Nitro subscriber to use them. So today I'm going to be showing you all how we can get custom themes that are not just gradients or colors without having to pay a single penny. Now how we are going to be doing this is using a client modification app called Better Discord. And uh, to get there we are going to go to our browser and we are going to go to Better Discord app. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this real quick. And you should get taken to a website that looks like this. As you can see by the number of downloads here, it is a pretty popular app to use. And it's also very easy and safe as well. And um, here's some examples, as you can see. Uh, these are what some of the themes look like. On the left here, you have your typical Discord theme. Or um, typical Discord without a theme. And on the right here, you do have a themed Discord, which looks pretty nice. Looks like a Galaxy uh, style theme. And there's also more than just themes to this. You can also get plugins. And the cool thing about this is it's pretty much all open source, meaning you can make your own themes, edit other people's themes, edit other people's pl uh, plugins, and make your own plugins. And all it really takes is some knowledge on JavaScript and CSS. So if you know either of those two languages, um, you can actually make your own plugins and themes, which is pretty nice. But today we are just going to be focusing on the themes of Better Discord. Now we are going to go ahead and download this. It won't take long at all. However, to save some time on my video, I've already downloaded it and have it on my desktop right here. All we need to do is just double click on it and you'll see the installer pop up. It looks pretty nice actually. It looks very professional and easy to read. Uh, however, we don't really need to worry about the license agreement unless you really want to. Here's also their website, GitHub, and uh, to donate to them. Their GitHub has some pretty useful content if you uh, know how to code and you want to um, use your ability to make your own themes and plugins. They, they do have a GitHub for you to check out. However, we're not going to worry about that today. I'm just going to click accept and go to next. And then we are going to click install better Discord. And then we're going to choose our Discord version. Now, uh, most of the time, you're probably just going to have the stable version. However, if you have the public test build version and the Canary version, you can install it to those as well. However, we're just going to worry about the top one here, which is the stable version, which is what most of us have. And then you click install. However, I've already installed better Discord to my computer, so I don't need to install it. Uh, however, it doesn't take very long, and after you install it, it'll restart Discord automatically. And when you pull it up, it'll just look like this. As you may already tell, um, this is the same as how it looked before. However, we can change the looks by going to our user settings here at the bottom left, and then scroll all the way down until we see better Discord. This is a new panel that will appear after you install it, and we have five buttons here. Settings, Updates, Custom CSS, Plugins, and Themes. Obviously, we want to worry about the themes, but we don't have any. However, there is a place where we can get themes, and it is back on Better Discord's website, and we just click on the Themes button. And as you can see, there are a lot of free themes you can download. And you can also make your own themes. Again, if you have if you have any knowledge on CSS or JavaScript, you can make your own cool themes. However, there's a lot of different themes here to choose from. Some are pretty simple and have some cartoony backgrounds. Some have some pretty abstract backgrounds. Some are like nature themed, like this one here, which is the one I like. Some are anime themed, like this one. Some are pretty simple, like Dark Plus and Translucent. Some have like a Fallout 4 theme. So there's a plenty. There's plenty of game 
uh, themed Discord themes. And there's also some themes that don't really change the background, but just change how certain things are displayed, like this one here. As you can see, this theme uh, basically makes the uh, status appear around the profile rather than just a little dot at the bottom right. So that's pretty cool. And there's a couple other ones. I like this one here. This is something I use. And there's also a few simple themes and some that actually replace emojis as well. All these themes are pretty cool. But anyways, we're, I already downloaded a few of these. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this browser. And I'm going to go ahead and get these themes right here. I downloaded three of them. We're going to click open theme folder. And then we are going to drag and drop our themes that we just downloaded into this folder. And we're going to exit. And as you can see, it already imported all these themes in. And we just need to toggle one on. Now let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to toggle my favorite one here. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice, uh, clean, high quality, dark theme. I like how um, it's pretty easy for my eyes because I do have sensitive eyes. And you can still read the text. And it also colors the text up here green, which I think is pretty cool. And it also um, organizes your server uh, bar differently. Instead of just having one single column, you now have two columns, which I think is pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the other themes that I have downloaded. This one is my second favorite. It is called Pyrite, and it's like an ocean sky theme, which is pretty cool. Now, I think uh, mine might be displayed differently because this theme, from what I know, is actually meant for Discord Canary. But I like how you can uh, just hover over here and it opens your activity bar. And um, everything looks pretty nice. Now, granted, with this theme, some things are kind of hard to read. However, with the next theme, um, that is something I can do to fix that which is the Vibrant Glass. Now, upon um, toggling this on, as you can see, it doesn't really do anything. It just makes the entire screen black. Well, that's because this theme is actually meant to be used with other themes. So the cool thing about Better Discord is you can actually use multiple themes all at once. And uh, something like this here is meant for exactly that. So if I turn it off and then turn Pyrite back on, as you can see, I don't really like the looks of it, but if I turn Vibrant Glass on, as you can see, it pops out the text more, and it makes things a little easier to read. Now I can actually read what these texts here says, and yeah. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what it looks like with the other theme I have installed. Alright, so as you can see, it actually changes this a bit more drastically. So, before, without this Vibrant Glass theme I downloaded, um, it just makes things look more opaque. But when I turn it on, it makes the text bolder and it makes these um, UI interfaces um, less opaque. But, uh, yeah, so this looks pretty nice. I uh, like how these themes look. Of course, there are thousands of themes to choose from, and it's just as simple as downloading one, getting the downloaded file, and dragging and dropping it into the themes folder. You don't need to edit them at all, all you need to do is just drag and drop it into here, and they are ready to be used. This is an app I highly recommend you guys use. Um, it's pretty easy, there's no coding unless you want to make your own uh, theme or plugin now i haven't really got into plugins but the same uh the way you get plugins is the same as themes but the thing with plugins is you might want to be careful uh download the ones that are uh more trusted by people um plugins can be pretty dangerous if you're not careful so just know what you're downloading however with themes um there's no real danger unless um, certain themes are a bit too bright for your eyes but yeah so that is how we get custom themes for our discord app 
Um, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like and let me know in the comments section on y what you guys would like to see next time. On top of that, if you would like to hang out with me and almost 500 other people, join my Discord server. We also help people out with coding, math, and science, and a bunch of other pretty cool things. So if you ever need help with any of that, or you just simply want to hang out with me and almost 500 other people, Go ahead and join my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. But without further ado, you guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.